and welcome back to This Nitty Life. My name is Rachel and I'm coming to you from Leeds, West Yorkshire, where I live with my husband and my two little children. Um, I'm back so soon. I'm out of breath because I'm running around. Um, I'm back so soon. So um, on the last episode, um, you might see I did a giveaway. So I need to draw it really quickly because it's Christmas themed. So this is where why I'm doing it so soon. So I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my name is This Nitty Life. So it's this underscore nitty underscore life. Uh, thank you very much for everyone who has come back. We've had a lot of um, new subscribers, presumably because of the giveaway. I have some um, festive headway on for you today. Um, I'm getting distracted. My name is Reward on Ravelry. You can find me there and on Instagram. So feel free to give me a follow or say hi or something. Um, so I've got some notes today. I just sat. This is my epic Home Alone jumper. I did not be knitted. It's from next last year, and my brand new necklace. It is lit. It is lit up. You just can't see. This was from Card Factory. It was two pound. So um, I have tried to work really hard this week. So I've actually got something to show you. Um, my husband tidied up yesterday. He's very good at tidying up to the point where I don't know where it is. I had a hole, which is a half object of a sock, and I don't know where it is. I've texted him and he's told me where he thinks it is, and it is not there. But never mind. Um, so I am going to kick off straight away with an, uh, another FO, actually. Well, this is an actual FO. So I finally finished this hat. So this is... Um, an Aaron, Aaron Wake Kid hat for my friend's little girl, I think. Um, I'm going to stick a pom-pom on there. I think I've got some fluff stuck to my eyebrow, my eyelash. Um, yeah, so this is Tin Can Knits. The gorgeous green is dye candy and the pink is dusty dimples and I think the navy blue is just a drops. So this was out of the Strange Brew book, which, uh, fun story, I've been missing that book all week. I found that book in a bag destined for the charity shop today. In there by mistake um i had to text my friend and ask my friend for the pattern instructions because i knew she had it and she knew i had it um but yeah i found it there this morning um i meant to say as well at the start this is a bit kerfuffled sorry um the podcast was late even though it was only the other day um because i had to answer the door to the amazon man in the middle of the thing it was really difficult to put back together um in imovie my imovie would not play a ball um, it was a long podcast at pushing an hour. This one will not be that long. Um, my husband, who is Mr. Apple, shall we say, um, hours and hours and hours he spent on, on it, putting it together. So if the door does go, which I've not had royal mail yet and I am waiting on things, I'm just going to get up and answer the door and you'll just have to wait for me because so many hours spent. Um, even though last time it was quite easy, it was saying there's no room on my phone, there was plenty of room on my phone, yada, yada, yada. So... It was frustrating but anyway this hat is finished i'm going to try and do another one for her little brother and um get them sent off as a little christmas present because um they're very knit worthy yeah so i did have my um half object was my stripy cat socks in my flamingo colorway i just had the tour to do which i did i don't know where it is you know you like is it down the side of the chair this is my super reclining chair which i've unplugged because all of the lights We've gone for a real Christmas tree this year. Um, Rob's got these epic, giant, kind of the outdoor two baubles on it. Um, but that's about as far as we've got so far. We've put some lights up and this, that and the other. It is the 4th of December now, if I hadn't said. It was my dad's birthday yesterday. Um, should you need to know that as well? I didn't get to see him. Um, but yeah, we're going to try and decorate a bit more this weekend. Um, husband's working again this weekend. Um, so we'll see when we can fit it all in. Right, so, um, da, da, da. thank you very much for everyone who's subscribing. I think we've gone up by about 10, which is super exciting. So I think we're on about 377, which is nice, right? So I've got um, a few things to show you. I had a big, massive um, load of posts because I was complaining that it wasn't here. Oh, I wasn't complaining. I was saying I know they're busy. Um, Lots came on Saturday, then lots came on Sunday, and they said that they're just so busy they're now having to work Sundays as well. So, um, yikes. Um, 
so yeah so i've got some things to show you actually i don't have a great deal of knitting because it's been a week and i've been working and last weekend oh yeah last weekend was let's not even talk about that it wasn't very pleasant um so i didn't really get very much knitting done last weekend um so i'm gonna show you um something where is it right got a little table over here so i got my body finished of my my dear sweater so this is the test knit which is late this pattern is now released it's called my dear sweater dear like a dear obviously um, so i've got the body done now um i've done helical knitting all the way down um and i've just picked up for the sleeves um my friend Gemma of snuggly stars um had some circular sleeve needles so i bought one of those of her a little something else um because i need to power on on these sleeves really um but i'd spent all my time trying to finish that hat and finish the sock so i had something to show you <laughs> i know priorities right and um it's been my last week of work this week so um yeah it's been just a bit higgledy pickledy um yeah um my friend jen super kindly sent me a skin of the poison apple because i was um running low so i do i've got this much left which probably isn't bad but i don't think i'm going to get full sleeves so i am doing the helical knitting thing um which i um did from i think about, it was grace of babbling yarns i always see her at um, eyf um yeah basically just to um alternate the skeins so it's not um quite obvious because one's a little bit darker than the other as happens yeah so i've got the body of that done um which is quite good going where was i is that the one where i sat and knit i can't remember what i can't remember what i've told you because it was so recently no it was a week ago i did that wasn't it yeah it was a week ago because uh, it was on a wednesday yeah, and i knit all that while reading my book um yeah i've not done that yet so um I need to get some another book and get going on that so yeah that's coming along nicely i really want to kind of give that some attention this weekend and kind of get it um get it progressed moved on um that would be good it would be nice it would be nice um i listen to hamilton all the time so in my gorgeous otter and spell bag um i start i started something it's been on my list to start for a while can you tell what it is it is a love note it's gorgeous so this is using this new pen beehive yarns this is her um raven red colorway and um her mohair as well which is also in here look at them so basically i've just cast on and i think you've got to do like eight rounds before you start a bit of shaping before you go into the lace so yeah i plan on um working working on that funnily enough um yeah i'd like to get a bit of a dent on that so as i've said probably repeatedly um my new job starts next week so that's exciting as things go um i had a welcome call yesterday with whoever's running the training it's difficult to explain um but it's definitely going to be a lot of like online reading online watching so if i could get um my love note past the lace and then i can probably just knit and um listen um yes yeah, so i need to, i wanted to get things in a little bit more of um an easier position really um, yeah so that is that um I've not got loads to show you actually because um, it's only been a week um, and I don't normally do them this close apart. I've got quite a fair few acquisitions to show you and some patterns because um, Advent started obviously this week. Um, I was super excited. Oh, you can you see it just there. It's my Spectrum Advent calendar. So that has been super gorgeous to open. A few of my friends have got it. So um, I FaceTime Carly at uh, Falula uh, the first day and we opened it on FaceTime. So on Tuesday, yeah, we opened it on FaceTime. Then we have to check the other ones opened it before we can say, oh, did you like it? Yada, yada, yada. Um, 
yeah so so far it's completely gorgeous i did start a project in it so i will show you that i'm not entirely sure it's the right project <laughs> you might see on instagram i've said many 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 times um loads of different patterns i um i want to do um i looked at the i've been saying this wrong and, t and hashtagging it hashtagging it wrong jig shawl puzzle Stephen West and he's punny words which means I always get his pattern names wrong so this is this one jigsaw puzzle so this is super clever let me see if I can just get a bit of the um it's got a little template it's got a little template for you to colour in actually but obviously it doesn't really work that way with advent but this is it so I guess where's number one so number one's like here and then number two is just dinky and then there's three there um but what i actually started was inspired by someone on instagram so that's jigsaw jig no jig shawl puzzle inspired by someone on instagram who i can't remember the name of you'll probably know who i'm talking about she's she always uses pink she is from a different country i want to say something somewhere called maybe amsterdam I met her at EYF and um, she always blows her face out and um, always knits West knits, always knits Tess knits. She's an amazing knitter. We met her um, in real life at EYF last year. God, it's only been last year. Um, we met her there and um, I can't think what her name is. Maybe you could start with E. <laughs> I'm dead good at this. Um, anyway, she started to, she posted about her advent that she was doing with her friend and she is knitting this oh look oh look what i found <laughs> i found my sock oh i take it back my lovely husband look i've got a hole i finished it oh i feel bad now but seriously i've looked everywhere for this yay that looks really long i've not actually tried it on yet Woohoo! so this is my stripy cat sock and this is the flamingo color wear I've got a Christmas Eve box from her coming and I think she said she's just shipped them. So we'll see when that arrives. So yay, I found my sock. Shame on me. Right. Um, so this one is the one the lady who has no name um, is knitting. It's a lava lake and it is another Stephen West one. So this one actually starts here and then goes that way. So cause, cause, can, can, you, can you imagine like knitting this? Uh, how hideous would that be? That would be so long. Um, but yeah, it is kind of knit sideways. Um, oh yes, Robin Elf came back this week. That's been a delight. Um, yeah, so that's a fade, but um, my advent calendar isn't actually a fade, the Spectrum Fibre one. She did confirm that. But you can kind of see there, it's huge. So I did actually start this shawl um i've only done the first day and not all of it because it's 20 grams and 20 grams is loads and it was a work day and i was trying to finish my sock so it's your fault um so i will show you so if you don't want to see um the spectrum fiber advent then maybe look away now um i've not done very much so this is as far as i've got oh it's really cute so this was the first color so i've made this much so far and this is the gorgeous yarn so this is spectrum fiber this is bryony did you catch her update at the weekend i did i've got the same color on i redid it because i picked it all off because of my delightful weekend i always do it when i'm a bit stressed pick all my nails off yeah so this is as far as i've got um so it's basically knit like this way um, but the problem, I'm getting tangled up, the problem being there's loads left. I was trying to find my scales upstairs last night. What have I got in there? I've got more. Oh, they're my sock needles. Um, I was trying to find, I'll put them over there. Um, I was trying to find my scales the other night to see just even how much that is because it is difficult to kind of um, measure out. It is a big shawl um, and it would be nice if I could kind of get half and then do the other half. That would be nice. Um, as in... Then it's kind of a fade isn't it or well not a fade but a... i'll show you the colors and you'll see what i mean so again if you don't want to see 
So this was the next colourway. So it goes blue and then orange. You'll see a theme. And then, so that's an, a solid orange. And then a speckle. And then today's is blue. So look at that. So not um, faded in the slightest, but completely contrast with each other and look epic. That blue is amazing. Um, I'm currently keeping it because it's tiny in my gorgeous thimble and thread make bag. Jane got me for this for Christmas last year. I've got my Lena Boo um, pin on there that my friend Jane from Castle View Yarns got me. Um, I can't find my, um, again, husband strikes again. I can't find my podcast sign. It was in the kitchen, but the kitchen's, I don't know what's happened to it. Maybe I've just not looked hard enough. Yeah, so this is how um, my advent's looking. Um, I really don't know whether I'm supposed to be doing this shawl or not. I'll show you Ugh. this one as well, which I like. This is the day shift pattern. So this is super cool. Um, so you basically start at, um, it's actually a free pattern, this one, day shift. So this is actually started at the bottom, which I don't normally like bottom, bottom up, but this is, um, this is quite clever. And I don't normally like clever construction because I like easy construction. But it also looks easy. It's really difficult to show you. Basically, I'm so good at this. <laughs> it starts at the middle. So basically, you start on this line and you kind of do this triangle shape. So it's basically like a, an, yeah. it's basically like a shawl, right? So you start here, but it's knit flat. So you knit a front and you knit a back. Um, and then you can either join them up at the side or not join them up at the side in terms of uh, making your stripes match. So I really like that idea because I thought in theory you could uh, knit 10 grams and then stop and then knit the other 10 grams. Um, and then I debated putting like a dark stripe in it, so I have a speckle and then have, I guess I was going to have a solid, but that's obviously what the advent's doing, which is really cool. My light's gone off. <laughs> Hang on, I'm not stopping it. Why is that gone off? Does it matter? Oh, you can see all my bags now and all my mask spots. Oh, well, that's just wonderful, isn't it? There, eh, whatever. Let's we'll keep going. <laughs> yeah, so this is also super cool day shift. Yeah, so I had the Jigsaw Puzzle, Lava Lake, Day Shift. I also bought uh, the North Easterly. This has made a massive difference to how bad my skin is. Um, it's not very happy at the minute. <laughs> it really hurts like I've been hit in the face. Um, I bought the North Easterly blanket, the crochet version, which I very rarely crochet. Um, I'm not very good at it. Um, I also don't actually have a... I bought it and then I tried to learn the stitch and just kind of... I know how to do it, but you don't just need your memory jogging and yeah. I don't know if I, I don't, I'm just taking on too much. Can you tell? So this is my current advent. So we're on the fourth. So I just need to have a little bit of a think really and see what I want to do. Um, because I do like knitting and reading. Um, and at the minute, it's, it's not a particularly difficult shawl because it's just like there's an eyelet and away you go. Um, but... I don't know. I don't know if I've made the right decision and, you know, it's a spendy project. So, I don't know. Anyway, I think I will go along into acquisitions. I have a fair few acquisitions. Starting off with this. This is a gorgeous Christmas bag from Jibby Roo. It's huge. Um, when she last did a Christmas update, I asked her if she would do um, a big one for um, Christmas jumpers and she did. How gorgeous this is. It's quite a floppy one. So it's got my, my dear in, my dear of sort of, yep. So that is looking epic. Love that one. Um, obviously the prize came with that, the giveaway prize was also there. And I got this one too. Super cute. What's this one got inside? It's got stars in again. 
yeah so i debated this one or the other one for the giveaway price but i thought you'd like the jumpers more yeah so i got that um so as well as the yarn that Gemma from Snuggly Stars has donated for the giveaway, she also very kindly sent me this beauty. This is Pastel Sorbet. How lovely is that? I'm really annoyed about my light. I have a little fiddle on. I'm pressing all the buttons and it's not doing anything. I don't know why it would do this. Yes, so Gemma super kindly, super kindly sent this one to me. How fun is that? I love those. Looks like she'll be at the Wool Monty next year. Hopefully, we'll be fine by June, right? June? So she's kindly donated the um, yarn for this prize. GB Roo has donated the bag. And Jen at Castleview has donated the stitch markers. So I'll do the giveaway. I also have a discount um, code for you as well. I just had a beep. And you know when things come uh, recorded as delivery and you have to beep them. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so I have... I don't, oh, I'll just stick with bags because I'm doing bags at the minute. So this is a new to me bag maker. Woo! Look at this. So this is oh, handmade by not quite elephants, but Elephas. So E L E F H A S. E L E F H A S. How fun is this? It's got an insane. I'm. Do you know what? I really. I'm really not a fan of animal print. Um, maybe in the normal sense, but this fun colour is awesome. So um, yeah, new to me. It's a fun jungle print. I've actually gone back and ordered a little um, cosmetic bag in this fabric because it's so cool. And um, she has scrunchies and stuff like that as well. So I ordered, I've ordered a scrunchie for Martha's stocking. Um, I can't remember if I did it. Oh, there's one where she's got um, like purple leopards and cheetahs. Martha really likes those animals. So I've ordered one of those. But this is gorgeous. So it's a really big size, actually. It's not a sock size, but it's definitely like... Um, you could get you can get away with a shawl with this probably not a garment but or a kid garment or a decent sized shawl really but it's totally gorgeous i ordered another bag from her as well last night for my friend for christmas so go and check out her shop that's made by elephants she really likes elephants it would seem yeah but that's super gorgeous um, I got a gorgeous delivery from Fab Funky Fibres. So this is the Trolls colourway. Um, I think they've they've obviously started their new website. I think they have released an autumn Trolls one. So this is gorgeous. I missed it last time because it went really fast. So that's a 50 gram one. So I'm hoping that um, everyone caught that update. And then my friend Gemma from A Little Grey Girl did a D stash a couple of weeks ago now. Um, and I caught a little bit of it got a gorgeous spectrum I love spectrum in ocean look at that I got a, this gorgeous dusty dimples which is called highlighter um she did a d stash page this is singles she did a d stash blah, 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 d stash page on her website the little gray girl um and I think last time I looked maybe early this week there was definitely still some left so I know a few of my friends got a few um bits and bobs and stuff I'm um, just going to message from my husband. Didn't tell him I was podcasting. And this one is Golding Yarn. So I used to get loads of Golding Yarn, but she's stopped dyeing now. And this is George's Marvellous Medicine. Um, I've had this one before and I split it with my friend. And then I really regretted it because I knit some socks. And then I loved them. I did a blueberry waffle sock. I can remember knitting them on the way to EYF. And... Um, yeah, I really regretted splitting it, but she had one in her stash, so I jumped on that. Um, yeah, so I think that might, might be it for acquisitions. So I guess um, we will head on over for the giveaway. I do actually have a discount code for you. This is from Gemma at Snuggly Stars. Um, I'm just going to have a bit of water. I need to cough. Hang on one sec. <coughs> hmm. 
her apologies. I was just ban um, balancing on the hamster's cage. I just, while I was looking for my sock, I found one of my reasonably new project bags, because I've got a lot, um, with a massive, massive hole in it. And I like to sit in this chair because it's by the telly, by the tree, and it's clearly been too near her cage. And there's a huge hole in it. And you know what? I saw bits in her cage the other day and I thought, oh, I wonder what that is. Um, it's my beautiful bag all chewed up. So I'm really sad about that. But I'm trying not to think about it. I'll sort it out later. So this is Gemma's gorgeous yarn. I think she said it was called Classic Christmas. There's gorgeous speckles in there and a gorgeous minty green. A little badge. But um, she has some in her shop. So if you don't win, so if you're not the winner, she has some in her shop right now and I'm about to give you a discount code. So I think these are maybe £15. Something like that. For the 50, 50 gram and the mini. No, they're not £15. I'm sure they're less than that. Which is nuts. Maybe 12 12 50 Something. Anyway. So she has very kindly given us the discount code This Nitty Life 2020 so that's all in one she did when she typed it out to me it was in caps so maybe just try either if it doesn't work so she's offered 12 percent off um until the end of the year actually so that's really kind this is a gorgeous jibby roo bag and then we have these fabulous stitch markers from jen at castle view so da -da -da, the winner which we had a fair amount of entries actually, considering it's only been three or four days. I think there's about 30 or so entries, um, which is brilliant. So yay, everyone likes winning stuff. So um, the winner is Stacey J. Liu. So Stacey J. L. E. W. So I assume that's Stacey. So well done, Stacey. I have actually messaged you already. I don't believe you've read it yet. Um, because I'm trying to turn this giveaway around really fast because it is a Christmassy one. So, um, Stacey, if you're watching, um, that would be really nice if you could get back in contact with me. If I could post it, like, presumably not today, but like tomorrow, Monday, that would be awesome. Um, but thank you very much to everyone who entered this gorgeous giveaway. Make sure you go and check out the Castleview shop, Jibby Roo. Um, Castleview's got her own website. Uh, Jibby Roo is on Etsy and Gemma of Snuggly Stars is also on Etsy. So don't forget the giveaway code This Nitty Life 2020. Um, if you're a subscriber, that will be super nice. We're, we're trying to work out ways to kind of get my numbers up, um, but there's no way to kind of actually see if you're a subscriber. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think that, oh, I'm not, I'm not sure yet. I did some exciting yesterday. How did I forget? Oh, look what I did. Oh, it's really difficult to show. I got my knitting tattoo yesterday. That's a, it's in a really funny spot to show you. Yeah, I had to go to town. Oh, it's, it's very tender. Um, I had to go to town yesterday to empty my locker from finishing my job. It's my Oha now. Yeah, so um, I did a bit of a poll on Instagram. Nah, there's pictures of it on Instagram, but I love it. I totally love it. It hurt so much so so much so much more than here um that one goes right up there now which is crazy like that my arm looks like this now oh man it hurt it hurt so much i was properly gripping onto the bed i had like my feet crossed um and it's like Ugh! oh god i had to try and because everyone's like super cool and trendy in the tattoo place and i'm really trying to like i couldn't talk through this one whereas last time i tried to kind of chat along as i do but oh i love it so yeah, I did a little bit, um, there's three stitches. Um, I did a little bit of um, a poll on Instagram uh, whether to do this kind or to do like super realistic ones, but I really like it. I'm really pleased. It's got a cute little tail coming off it to show that it's wool. And then I got one coloured in and I've never had a coloured in one. Um, it's a tender, the top row is particularly tender, but I wanted it lower than my veins. Um, it's not bruised. It's got, I've got Sharpie marks from when he did it. But I love it. I totally, totally love it. Um, I can't believe I've waited all this time to um, to tell you about it. Um, well, you know, 29 minutes in. Um, but yeah, I really, really like it. And also, yeah, I cleared my locker out at my job. 
yesterday I work in the city centre so um, yeah I don't think I'm ever going to go back in an office again who knows who knows right so that is um, looking awesome I'm going to go and have myself a little bit more food I'm obsessed with those little buns that you put in the oven rolls baps whatever you want to call them um, in the oven and you put them in for like 10 minutes and then they're like hot and amazing um, so I had two of those about an hour ago but I've got one left um, so I'm going to put those in um, and then it's been um, sleeting and raining a little bit today in Leeds um, it was a delightful school run the kids were very excited um, I, I didn't love standing in the rain and sleet for 15 minutes between one child going in and the next child I have an insane rotor for next week for when I'm working 9-5 um, ah, yes I think that's all I've got to say really um, yeah I'm waiting on my spectrum yarn coming and my fine fish that I ordered uh, before I don't know if she shipped it or not yet but it must be tricky because if someone goes into isolation then you just can't do anything can you I, neither of them are but you know anyway um, I think that's all um, I've got time for I'm gonna um, have a read I'm gonna have some bread I'm gonna have a read and a knit and maybe have a freddo um and so because i'm full time in i'm not going to be able to have my fridays and mondays off um it'd be fine it'd be fine um but um i might be able to squeeze in a podcast um depending on childcare situations and um, my parents might actually be coming down from the northeast and picking the kids up next friday and i think they're going to take them back up there for a sleepover because they've not seen them for months um because you can use the grandparent childcare rule. So I might be able to do it next weekend. So you never know, I might not have anything to knit. I might not be able to knit while I'm working, but we'll see. But anyway, thank you very much for joining me. I'll be back as soon as I can. I hope everyone is having a lovely December. Hope everyone is enjoying the advents. Um, I really like it when people comment and stuff. So um, please don't be too sad if you've not won the giveaway. I think that's a really generous um, discount um, from Gemma. Um, I actually ordered um, something from her yesterday. She had uh, the needles I needed and I was like, oh, well, I'll just get this yarn um, while I'm here. She does some really nice sport, which I'm really into at the minute. Um, and she's got some gorgeous, um, she's got some gorgeous, like, wacky, we'll call them colourways. Um, and then she's just started to kind of do some more tonal and semi-solids. I think as she's moving more into colour work. Um, so she's got loads of awesome, awesome things in there. Um, I've got some of her mohair, which is lovely. I got it in the first lockdown actually it's blue um and it's, it's gorgeous um so go and check out go and check out her shop we've been there um, we'll come become buddies me and Gemma um so yeah that's all I've really um got to say I think so um I'll see if I can get something in I've just caked up my super chunky from Castleview Yarns in Fear of the Dark because my friend Carly um knit a hat in it the other day and um, Carly says hi she's doing a little bit better thank you for all the love for her um, she knit an awesome hat in Fear of the Dark. I like stick it on Instagram, and she's just like, meh, Instagram, meh. <laughs> um, yeah, and she had a gorgeous delivery of Spectrum today, um, and she's going to do a Christmas sold on her. Um, so hopefully we'll see her around again. Um, so again, thank you very much for joining me. Please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. I'm going to try and figure out what's happened to my light. Um... I saw them in B&M the other day. No, Home Bargains for 8 99 They're awesome. Um, but thanks very much for watching. I'll give you a little bit of a, um, a flash before I go. <laughs> okay, take care everyone. Bye.